Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about best practices for URLs and maps. So, so far what we have here is, I'm just going to close that and close this one, close this uh, view also. So in here, what we have is we have our URLs and then they are mapped to their certain view functions. But what we can actually do is, uh, when we have, uh, let's see here, for these two maps, for these two URL mappings, we have uh, one folder or one package that is meetings. So what we could do is, we could create a urls.py file within our meetings folder to handle the mapping on its own and to just reduce these two lines into just one line. Now, if you have a large application, that is a really, really best practice, and you should do that. And throughout this lecture, you're going to understand and you're going to know why we should do something like that. Uh, so first, I'm going to go into our meetings app folder, and I'm going to create a urls.py file, and I'm going to call it urls.py file. Within this file, first, I'm going to grab the, I'm going to grab, import the Django URLs path, so it is django.url urls and from there i'm going to import the path function that we have been using right here then i'm going to import the views as well so i'm going to say from from this folder import views so what it is that we are going to add in here basically we are trying to mimic this url pattern so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to click on this one, and I'm going to click on that one. There we go. So this, on the left side of the screen, this is the urls.py, which is within the meetings folder. On the right side of the screen, this is the urls.py file within the meeting planner. So this is the parent. The uh, left side is the child. Now, basically, I want to create a URL patterns list, and in here... What do I want to add? I want to add two path functions. Why two? Because as far as this meetings app is concerned, as far as this meeting app is concerned, we have two URLs. One is for detail. Uh, we have two view functions. One is for detail and the other one is for rooms. That's why we are going to add two. So in here, what I'm going to do is, now this is the cool part. The cool part is that I could just copy both of these and I could just go ahead and put them right here. And I should probably close that one and let's just decrease this one a little bit. What am I going to change from here is I'm going to remove this meetings. And, uh, hmm. and you can see that these two, they're not being defined. So I'm just going to say views dot. Now it is going to select it and I'm going to say views dot because this detail uh, view function and this rooms list view function, they're within this views uh, file that we have. So what we, what we have done here, let me just save that so the indentation is corrected. What we have done here is we have grabbed some parts of this URL and we have extracted that part along with the detail and the rooms list, list view functions along with the URL name. What, what is happening to this? What is going to, what, what we are going to be left in here? So what we are going to be left in here is that I'm going to remove both of them. And instead of both of them, I'm just going to add one path. And within this path, I'm going to sell, I'm going to use an include method. The include method is going to take a look inside the meetings application and it will find the urls.py file and will get all the mapping, the rest of the mapping, the URL mapping from there. So first off, let's go ahead and let's import that as well. So I'm going to say, where should I import it? So I'm going to say from meetings.views. Now this one, we don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to remove that. Uh, I really wish that you're not getting confused. I'm just going to close, uh, save that, and I'm going to close that. So this is the original um, urls.py that we have. I have removed this one because we are no longer using detail and rooms list. So I'm just going to remove it. 
And instead of it, I'm just going to say Django.URLs uh, from uh, URLs, uh, we have already imported that, so I'm not going to add it here. We have imported the path, and I'm going to import the include method as well. So what is the include method going to do? Uh, let's just add it and then go over it. First, I'm going to specify the URL. Don't worry, I'm going to explain it. Then I'm going to say include. What are you going to include? You're going to go into the meetings application app, and from there, include the urls.py file that I've just created. Just go ahead and include it. And when you include it, what do we have in there? We have two URL mapping in there. So how is this URL mapping going to work? Let's save this as well. And there are no errors. That's a good thing. First, I'm going to show it to you. So let's go back to browser. Let's save that. This page is no this page no longer exists. Now we have this is our root directory, right? Which pages did we change the URL mapping for? It was the meeting detail and the rooms list. So if I click on the meeting detail, you remember what was the uh, URL mapping for it? It was slash meetings slash an integer one, two, three, four. So you can see that it is still working. So we have slash meetings, slash an integer. What does this actually mean in this process that we have done? Now, what it means is that the slash meetings slash part comes from the parent urls.py file. The rest of it are going to be included from this child url.py file that we have created. So meetings slash is, is going to come from this parent. Which part is that? That is the part that I've just highlighted. This part that I've highlighted in the address bar, this is going to come from the parent from the original urls.py. But where is the integer coming from? This one, this one that I've highlighted. Where is it coming from? It is coming from, come on, buddy. It's coming from right here. So the process is going to be the same. When you are visiting that page, Django server is going to take a look at the URL. It is going to trace it to the original URLs.py. Django is never going to come to our applications URL.py. So this URLs.py is within our application. It's not the original one. Keep this in mind. Django is going to go to the original one, which is next to settings, right after the settings. And in here, it's going to take a look at this meetings, and then it will take a look at the view function, but there is no view function. However, there is the include method. Then the include method says, go to the meetings app and then go to the URLs, dot, URLs file. So the Django server is going to go to the meeting application. From there, it's going to go to the URLs file. And then it is going to take a look at the rest of the URL. So where is the rest of the URL coming from? Right here. After it finds that URL that the user requested, it is going to trace it to its view function. Where is the view function? Is right here. Why did we specify the views? Uh, we specifically specified where the file is. The reason we, that we did that was that this is not the original URLs.py. Now, in the original URLs.py or in the parent, it is expecting that views we have we have already done that in here we have basically done that in here as well and then we have said import welcome date or whatever so if you say from uh, dot views import detail and rooms list then you wouldn't have to do this views dot detail or views dot rooms list all right so um, and then after it traces it to this view function then whatever happens, happens in the realm of the view function. The names for the URL mapping is included in here as well. So this is actually how it works. I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to go to the rooms list. You remember from our previous lecture, what was the URL for the rooms list? It was the root slash rooms underscore list. But now if I click it, we have actually added a prefix to it. What is the prefix? You guessed it right. The prefix is going to be meeting slash. This is the difference. That's it. There is no there is no difference. So basically, we have prefixed 
the meeting detail page with meeting slash and the rooms list page with meet with meetings slash so if i click on it there we go so we just prefix that oh it says rooms sorry it's not rooms list it says rooms we just prefixed it with that and this is where this uh, url naming the url mapping names they come in handy because it, when we change the url we didn't change it in this scenario for the details it's the same we changed it for the rooms but if we didn't trace it to the name of the mapping and we traced it in fact to the url itself then this page would not show anymore but because we changed it to the name it doesn't matter what the url is it's always going to show it i'm going to go over this concept one more time so what we want to do is uh, we want to make sure that we are following the best practice way for url mapping and for app apps for our django apps that we have so the best practice way is to provide your urls for every specific app within that application itself so for the meeting application the urls are going to be contained within the meeting which is within this meetings folder so let's take a look at that so this is our meetings application if i go in there we see that the url is within here all right so this is a best practice that you should keep in mind now it is not going to work this new urls.by file within the application is not going to work unless we somehow link it to the original urls.py file which was in our meeting planner which this one that i'm just hovering on it on the left in the file explorer explorer how do we link it we basically we no longer need that import statement we just import the include method the include method will link the child url.py which is this file to the parent url.py which is this file it is going to prefix both urls or as many url mapping that you have let's say uh, now we have two pages right one is detail one is rooms list you, let's say you add four more pages so for those pages which are added within the meetings fold within the meetings app you are not going to create the url mapping in the original url file you're going to create it every mapping will be created in its own specific app so you're going to create those four mappings within this app which what is this app this app is the meeting app that is the whole idea you are trying to separate all the components into their own specific folders specific applications and you want to keep everything uh, clear the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that all the urls that are being extracted that are that originate from this mother url they are going to be prefixed with this word meetings slash so if you have any other url even though it says rooms this is the second part of it where is the first part coming from the first part is this one what connects these two worlds these two urls.py is this include method and now I'm, I know for sure that you understood what I was talking about. And in here, you can see that. So previously, our rooms, they did not have that meetings slash prefix. Now they do have it. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.